thanks for tuning in again. I would like to talk with you a little bit about, of course, weight loss, emotional eating, and then the WPO and the BPO. WPO stands for worst possible outcome. And the BPO stands for the best possible outcome. So let's talk about emotional eating, binging. You know, it's a difficult subject. If you keep going around in the negative talk to yourself, I'm not good. I'm not never going to amount to anything. I worry about everything. It's never going to work out. I am a failure. I'm a loser. I have not accomplished anything. Blah, 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 blah. So what is the picture that you're holding of yourself? You see, you are omnipotent. You are capable of doing anything you set your mind to. Unfortunately, you have been programmed for 75% negative from the moment you set foot on this earth, the moment you got your, you, you took your first breath. It's always been negative, negative, negative. So you are so used to that that you don't even realize it. It's second nature to you. How is that working for you? Not so good, isn't it? Not really. So how do you get out of that? Well, the first, the first really, the first big step is to make the decision. You make the decision that you're going to change your life. No matter what anybody around you says, you're going to change it. By hook and by crook, you're going to change it because you are the only one who can change your life because everything in your life comes from the inside out. And everything that happens around you happens for a reason, but mostly what is important is to see how you respond or react to something. React is what an animal does. That's reaction. We humans are supposed to respond. That means when something happens, we stop and we think, what's taking place? What is this? How does that make me feel? What am I supposed to do now? Just think, 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 think. What am I thinking? Acronym, wait, W-A-I-T. Write it on everything, on the wall, on, on your mirror, um, whatever. Your diary, I, I don't care where. Wait, become aware of yourself. What am I thinking? So when you see your life, your day in front of you, when you open up your eyes in the morning, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, it's going to be another crappy day. It's raining and it's da, 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 da. Beautiful. You're setting yourself up for a miserable day. Totally. Look at the good side. The good side of your life. First of all, you wake up in the bed. Right now you're watching me, so that means you have the money to look, to have a cell phone and to have a cell phone service. Most likely you are going to have breakfast. You put on some clothes. First you have a shower, then you put on some clothes. And then you either work from home or... You go to your job, either with public transportation, that means you can pay for that, or you own a car, or you share a ride with somebody. How wealthy are you? It's amazing. 
It's absolutely amazing. But the fact alone that you are above ground and you can watch this video is so much. And you really ought to be really thankful for that. I look, I, I, I walk around in my house, not every second, but often, or I sit and I go like, wow, how wealthy I am. This is all mine. And apart from that, I'm healthy. I have food in the refrigerator. I have a car in the garage. I'm doing something that I love to do. People respond to me. Way not enough people. I was. I just can't wait for the day that they're going to inundate with me with questions and etc. But it takes a little bit longer because, you know, anybody who is not really feeling up to snuff prefers to... Um, Either take the pills or run to the doctors. Ah, allergies. Ah, something itchy. Prefers to pay the, the prefers to go to the doctor and just, you know, get another subscription for yet another thing. How is it helping? No, nah, not really. So learn to appreciate what you've got. It's not that difficult. And then how do you want your day to go? What do you want to be the best possible outcome? Because you are a creator. You create your day. You set up the energy that attracts the like-minded energy. I can't help it. It's the law of attraction. I didn't invent it. Please do your own research online. But if you set yourself up from the second that you wake up, in a negative energy, it's going to be one of those days and I have a meeting and I hate those meetings. Be happy that you got the meeting. And if you don't like your job, you know what? Tough it out. Suck it up. Consider it your funding for that, what you love to do. Start your own business, an online business or whatever. I don't care. Don't quit your job. This is not the time neither was last year, to quit your job because you don't like it. Smile and the job will go so much better. Empower yourself with the feeling like, I can do anything. I am a happy, healthy person. By the way, people are, who are unhappy are usually unhealthy. It goes hand in hand. So happiness is just a state of mind. There is a really good book by Marcy Shymoff, Happy for No Reason. So you can maybe even get it in the library. I don't know, but I thought it was a really good book. Just be happy that you are above ground, that you have this life, that you can change anything in your life. And you know what? If you want to cough up the excuses, that's fine. Put them in the comment. I would love to respond to that, address them and respond to that, give you some tips and help you further along the way. But here's the thing, the WPO and the BPO, the worst possible outcome, the best possible outcome, because that all dovetails with you being unhappy, overeating, binging, getting fat, remaining that fat state that you're in, hating, excuse me, hating yourself for being too fat. And you can break the cycle. Only you can do it. All it takes is decision. A decision is to cut that what was before. So you have this, this mindset, this thought pattern, going along just cut it and start a new way of thinking you know if you have ever watched on tv somewhere um caesar milan uh, the dog whisperer what he does and he shows it so blatantly and it's so good and he explains it when he visits people who have a barking dog and a regressive dog blah, 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 and he walks with the dog and that, walk, that dog starts to bark horribly 
two dogs around the neighborhood. What, when that dog starts to bark, he just kicks them. Gently kicks them. Just a nudge. What does that do that interrupts the existing train of thought? Yes, dogs can think as well. And different, and we probably don't understand it, but we do understand that they have a train of thought that's building up and that interrupted. We humans can do the same. Um, I don't have anything, but you can put a rubber band around your arm. And when you start to think negatively, bring blanket, ouch, snap yourself out of it. Just put it, noink, ouch. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Look at me. I'm eating lunch. I have people around me. I'm at my job. I'm going back later to my home. I'm going to watch television. Um, I'm going to be on my computer. I'm going to be on my cell phone. I'm going to create a new life. No matter what anybody says, because most people who try to talk you down are those people who are jealous that you have the guts to think for yourself and create something for yourself. And don't let anybody rain on your parade by saying, where do you think you got the money and what you did before it didn't work out, and blah, 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 blah. It's none of their business. You have to believe in yourself. What is the best possible outcome? What is the result that you want to see? Successful person. I am a successful person. I am a believer in myself. I am a winner. I am destined for greatness. Not I'm going to, no, I am. I am. You can do that. What is the best possible outcome that supports you? The worst, the W, P-O, the worst possible outcome only erodes you, only grinds you down. So become aware of your thoughts. I keep repeating it over and over again because it all has to do it all leads into the emotional eating because you're not feeling happy. So you're just eating the whole bag of popcorn, the whole bag of chips, the whole box of Twinkies, of donuts, of muffins, whatever, without thinking. Come to realize what you are thinking. W-I-W-A-I-T. Because anything that you have in your life, anything and everything is only based on two things. Only two things, and it's your control of those two things. The pictures you hold in your head and the words you say to yourself. That's how simple it is. And it's so simple that you go like, she's crazy. She doesn't know what you're talking about. No. You know what? It's even in the Bible. You can look in the Bible and find the quotes. Because it says, and that's the only one I remember, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It's in one of the Proverbs. And your heart is actually your head. Because the old, the ancient Romans didn't know that we had a, a mind. They thought everything was go, coming from the heart. And most of the stuff comes from the heart. Because you have to really love yourself. If you love yourself, life goes better. But you know what? I'll talk about that again tomorrow. So I appreciate you tuning in. And you know the disclaimer, everything that I've learned is, is a compilation of all my beautiful mentors. And I just pour my beautiful sauce over it. And that's what I serve up to you. Hopefully by re repeating myself over and over and over and over again, that something will stick and that you go like, oh, I get it now. And that makes me so happy. When you do that, Leave me a comment. Click the like button. Anyway, send it on to somebody who you feel can benefit from my contents. Subscribe. And if you don't like it, so be it. C'est la vie. That's life. Talk to you further tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.